Hey everyone. I'm Brooke. And I'm Jenna. And we're the 2021 Young Animal Technicians. Welcome back to the Grover Young Animal Development Center for the Dairy Academy. So today we have Serena with us and she will be talking about the importance of weighing calves. Thanks for having me guys. Okay. So Serena, how often should we weigh calves and why should we weigh our calves? Great question. So we should be weighing our calves as a benchmark for how well our milk fed period is going. So we want to weigh them as newborn uh, to see the average newborn that our farm is producing. So the average for Canadian farms right now is about 45 kilograms. And then we want to weigh them when we're kind of weaning them, which is about 56 days is when we want to be kind of hitting our target of doubling that birth weight. Great. digital scale, but for the average producer, a weight tape will work just fine. So we're going to use this little round Swiss as a model today. And we want them standing on a hard, flat surface, um, ideally with our head up, but anyone who worked with a brown Swiss will understand they don't always listen. So we're going to wrap the weight tape around right behind his front legs here. and then pull it up. So we want to make sure it's tight enough that the hair is going to lay flat, but not super tight that he's wearing a corset. So we can see here that according to this weight tape, he's about 89 kilograms. Um, if they're not standing correctly, it's going to change the weight of the cap. So say we kind of scrunch him up a little or straighten him out a little, we'll get him straight out. So now we can see that he's only 86 kilograms. So that's why we want to make sure that when we're weighing the calves, they're standing square with their heads upright. Another reason we're going to want to weigh our calves is if we're feeding a medicated feed, such as decox. So when we formulate a milk replacer for medication, we formulate it for a calf's weight, not their calf's age. So if we had a 60 kilogram calf, we have a specific amount of milk replacer we need to be feeding to that calf to get enough of a dose of medication. Sometimes, and depending on the farm, your calves aren't going to grow the same as another producer's place. So we want to make sure that we're weighing our calves to get that correct medicated dose. Yeah, so it's important that we're keeping health records of our calves in order to identify trends. So by weighing our calves and seeing how well they grow in that 56 day period, we can start to identify trends, whether it be seasonality. So it's going to be a hot girl summer, so our calves might grow less in the summer due to having heat stress. So if we're able to weigh them at the end of their 56 day milk fed period, we can see those decreases in gains. All right, thank you, Serena, for helping us weigh cows today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Dairy Academy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And drop a comment below for any future topic ideas. See you next time.